advice to new programmers after coding for a couple of years. It's a video that I got inspired to do because of Fahad Imran and I just came across his blog post. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of his important bullet points and speak from my experience on them. Number one, focus on the fundamentals. So I have to agree with Fahad on this. So many developers I see always trying to learn the hottest technology, the newest framework, the coolest thing that is happening around them. They want to pick up React and on day two, they want to pick up Redux and then they want to go and learn C and then they want to learn what's Angular about, what's the difference between Vue. Then they want to start looking up cloud computing. They want to look up the difference between Firebase and AWS. Stop. Focus on the fundamentals. If you get the fundamentals right, you solve everything. Get strong fundamentals and develop a strong ability to problem solve. Even when you try to apply to companies online, you will see that they are looking mainly for somebody who is framework agnostic, even if you apply to a React.js developer job. Number two, please make lots of mistakes. Get good at making mistakes. Enjoy the process of messing up, then starting over, then doing it again. The only true way to learn is to learn all the things you shouldn't do. That's what leads to mastery. Number three, stop relying on a single source of knowledge. Now, whether this is college or a coding boot camp or some tutorial or YouTube channel you find online, don't rely on only one source. Go through a ton of different resources. Come to your own conclusions. Number four, don't fall into tutorial hell. You're going through course after course. You're following what they're saying on Free Code Camp, on Udacity, on Udemy, on YouTube, on Medium, wherever it may be. You're moving in circles. You keep going from one tutorial to the next without making true forward progress. What does true forward progress look like? It looks like you going out there in the field, building projects, completing them and putting them on your portfolio. Until you complete projects that you put on your portfolio, you are not making forward progress. Number five, stop trying to master everything. You're not gonna learn every language, every framework, every technology. It's not gonna happen. Pick one, master it, get good at it, keep building things with it, make it useful. Think about why you learn different languages, English, Mandarin, Urdu, Hindi, whatever the language may be. Why do people learn it? Well. You don't just learn a language just so you can learn a language, unless you're a polyglot. The reason why you learn languages is so you can live in that country. You can talk to the people, you can date somebody, you can get a job. That's the point where you should be learning programming languages. Not so you could learn every programming language on the planet, but you, you could, so you could learn a language, build things with it, get a job with it, make a career out of it, solve problems, help businesses, help people. So don't be a programming language whore. With that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.